Welcome to the Real Press Start. I'm your host, Pistol P Jr., and I'm here with uh, G Roll, aka G Weezy, aka a bunch of AKAs. DJ Diamond Nuts, aka Mr. Get Off Me Suck a Dick, aka Air Horn Sound Effect, the two step McGilla Cutting, aka Dr. Wait, Captain Sir Dr. G Roll Norrington Esquire the Third. Yeah, sure. Hey, you, I'm the Captain Dr. Esquire Lawyer the Third. Uh, we got two special guests in the house today. Uh, introduce yourselves, please. Adrian Valenzuela. Armando Torres. And uh, who are you guys? <laughs> Adrian Venezuela and <laughs> Armando Torres. Come on, get with us. That was our real what name. What is it that you do? <laughs> uh, no, so we're I'm the founder of a, a company called Wise Guys Comedy, which pretty much is just a touring comedy club. Armando is one of the comedians that will be going on tour with me. Uh, yeah. he's, he's the funny one. I just do paperwork and stuff. I think that, I think paperwork's pretty funny. Um, <laughs> I have a lot of paperwork related humor. That's half of his material. <laughs> he doesn't even use paper to write it down. No, 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 no. Nice. All right, so um, if you get high on your own supply. <laughs> so we just watched. <laughs> we just watched quite possibly the greatest worst videos ever. Yeah. <laughs> I will be disturbed for the rest of my life. Yes. I've been to two different combat zones, and I have more PTSD from that video than, I right? do, than anything I've ever seen. Oh, man. <laughs> so, we kind of went down the rabbit hole with that one. We saw a lot of the, the original video we saw was called Vegan as Fuck. It's supposed to... It, it was built that as was a terrible. metal video, but it's not metal at all. Hillary that was Duff the is least metal. metal thing <laughs> I've the, seen. That was the poppiest metal song I've ever heard. <laughs> yeah. And it, just Google, Google Vegan as Fuck. Hit YouTube... Check out vegan as fuck. It'll make you literally. It's gonna make you crave like ten thousand cheeseburgers. If you don't know if you're watching the right video, it says vegan as fuck in fucking electrical tape in the background. And yes. the guy has pants that are also made out of electrical <laughs> tape. Yeah. And yeah, it just it's it's the worst video, <laughs> the worst music video I've ever seen in my life. And then. And we stumbled upon something fantastic. <laughs> yes. <laughs> but he follows it up. Yes. In, in, in the, what, uh, you might enjoy <laughs> the, the watching some well, yeah, recommended videos. It's <laughs> you want to fuck yourself up even more? Yeah. Check this shit out, man. Yeah. Uh, you don't know what the fuck you're getting into. <laughs> enter at your own risk. But uh, what was the guy's name again? John... John Skater. John Skater. You'll see this is like John Skater cringe moments. Oh now, the God. original video was two and a half minutes, and for some reason we decided to watch the second 15 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> well, he got us. <laughs> you will be scarred for life. <laughs> From the original, too. We couldn't it's, stop watching this, it's no 15 minutes. It it's 15 minutes, and about eight minutes of that is just him eating pussy. <laughs> just <laughs> pretending to eat pussy. Air pussy. <laughs> Air pussy. <laughs> Like air guitar, but with eating a girl out. <laughs> uh, Even the apples look traumatized. Oh That's, god, that was just yeah. horrible. I can ne- I can never eat an apple again. Yes, it, I didn't eat much to begin with, <laughs> as you can tell <laughs> by my body shape. I look more like an apple than I eat <laughs> apples. No, uh, uh, I said that while we were watching the video that I really believe that this man will be the see, he, he will be the, the cause of the extinction of cows. <laughs> 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 that made me want to apply. That made me want to apply to work at a slaughterhouse. <laughs> <Sorry, laughs> seriously, I want to help get meat out there to people. <laughs> I wrote thank you letters as soon as it finished. <laughs> two slaughterhouses. Like, oh god, this yeah. It, oh, but see, the, the the fucking cringe video starts off with him admitting that he let his cat lick maple syrup off the tip of his dick. Oh, yeah. yeah. And then crazy, directly, yeah, directly after that he compares you to people who <laughs> rape <laughs> animals. He's like, if you eat if you eat meat you're basically raping yeah. an animal. Yeah boy don't rape my friends. Rapes an animal. Yeah. <laughs> don't rape my friends. <laughs> you fucking rape that cat. That cat's been raped. You know it's all making sense why the video is called cringe now. I didn't make sense before now <laughs> It's just yeah, cringe it's it's like it's cringe cringe. Cringe. Oh. <laughs> It's bad. That's bad. That was just all fucking bad. Recommended. <laughs> recommended. I, I highly yeah, recommend it. Yeah, it's, it's one of those things I'm like, you, you've got to watch this video now. <laughs> well, I'm just, okay, I'm just going to put it out there. If uh, John Skater cringe video 
If that doesn't win an Oscar tonight, <laughs> I'm going to be in an uproar. There will be riots. It's, yes. it's actually two girls, one cup, and he describes what happens in the video. Just eating shit and drinking piss throughout the whole Stinking, time. Just doing it. It's, uh, he's, <laughs> only if they're vegan. Oh, only man. if they're vegan. He does have a smooth flow, though. Yeah, they, oh, yeah. He's going to drink or nothing like that. <laughs> Fucking that's the, he, I, I, I've never heard flows like that. If you're reading this, you work at Whole Foods. That should be his album. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck yeah, <laughs> dude! Oh man! And then like he just looks creepy. Oh, just, yeah, what? he looks creepy as shit. Oh. Did you guys know this? Somehow he has a girl in that video. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, and in any situation where there was a girl in the video, he played the girl <laughs> and she would play a guy. Yeah, that was like, like what was that whole thing about? And then. He, he looked more feminine. <laughs> but, yeah. yeah. That's true, because even in the cow video, yeah. he's a cow, so he's technically a chick. He's still yeah. a chick, and that girl's just like, Oh, yeah. did we forget to mention he played a cow getting his udder sucked by yeah. his He's just getting his dick girl. sucked. <laughs> he's just getting his dick sucked. <laughs> and he's just staring deeply into his soul. Suck that milk. It's thinly Suck veiled that. hate porn. Oh, man. He has really good fashion, though. <laughs> no. <laughs> Those tattoos, man, they're, they're just like, like, you can't really see them, but like, you can go see they just go. One of them, uh, uh, we we pretty much confirmed that it says go vegan, on uh, it. but it's just block lettering, just like bam, slapped on his shoulder. He's it's very like, promiscuous. He leaves just enough to for you to guess what it could be, yeah. but not enough for you to know for sure. The one that uh, seriously, I think that other one says social distortion. Because what else could it say? Like fucking anything. <laughs> Have you seen him? <laughs> could, yeah, it could, yeah. could literally go anywhere. The dude, yeah. So if you have it, <laughs> I'm saying. <laughs> Go watch, go watch the videos. Did you? And then he starts off every single video by mentioning to his audience, "Hey, if there's any single vegan ladies out there, yeah, maybe we can eat, meet up, and do some licking of our own. You know, nothing wrong with licking." And then he tongue fucked an apple. So I don't know. <laughs> He also spread the widest vagina. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. he put his shit in there. Like, like, see, but that leads me because all, if you, if you. He's like one of those virgins that heard stories from his friends. Yeah. <laughs> like the song about how, like, like he's there, like thrust, like the camera, the camera angle is just just above his belly button, or just below his belly button. He's in there thrusting, talking about how she sucked his big and dick all night. Like, <laughs> wait, you're saying he doesn't have a sexual or an active sex life? I seen him get his dick sucked in front of me. <laughs> I don't know what that yeah. you're talking about. I mean, he was a cow. I <laughs> he was, yeah, he was dressed as a cow too. Cow. It's the kind of guy that's just like, oh yeah, I ate her poop and then I I peed on her and that's where the baby came from. Yeah, exactly. (laughs) uh, I I was totally inside of her vagina. Told like I I damn near crawled into it. I was I was so inside of her vagina. You don't know about it though. She went to a different vegan camp, (laughs) a different brainwashing school. (laughs) Oh god, like that is. That is, uh, and, and I, I actually have a couple, I have a couple of vegetarian friends, and one is trying to go full vegan, and I'm tempted to just show them that video, yeah. and just say, this is what vegans are, this, this is what you're enjoying, <laughs> this is what happens when you drink the Kool-Aid. I got this on my iPod. <laughs> <laughs> I want these out on my phones on the way out. <laughs> this is what happens when you drink the all-organic sugar-free Kool-Aid. <laughs> oh. I still want to make that... She sucked my dick all night. Saw yeah, my dick. Right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, oh, I've never, I've never really had a bad experience with vegetarian people. I've dated two vegetarians. Yeah. And I'm, you look at me, and I'm just obviously I eat like fast food every single day of my <laughs> life, probably. Um, but every vegetarian. they were, they were all, they were all okay with it. They kind of compromised. Like they would eat fries. Ah. And they would look past the fact that I like chicken McNuggets. <laughs> like, McNuggets. <laughs> I've only see. I've only had bad experiences. Well, no, I take that back. I, there's only there's a one vegetarian that I, I've met that wasn't like, you are fucking gross for eating meat. But what was, what's the difference between vegetarian and vegan? The, vegetarian, there's like a small difference, right? The the vegans don't eat anything that comes from an animal. Anything at all. at all. Milk, eggs, nothing. And fish. Technically, I guess a vegetarian can eat fish. Yeah, yeah vegetarian. They can eat cheese and milk, and, <clears throat> and they, in fact, they, they do. Better. They realize they have to eat like eggs because yeah. they need protein in their diet. 
Yeah, but like apparently, if you like can't, like if, yeah, if you don't get egg protein, you're getting pussy protein. Apparently, yeah, yeah you gotta eat enough, pro, enough, enough pussy. Then. Wait, vegans say that they don't eat anything with the shadow, but he eats the fuck out of people. <laughs> so, yeah. that, that the pussy that he eats has its own shadow. The quite oh, possible actually, best was he. He said, "What did he say? Uh, oh, do you mind if I stick my finger into you?" <laughs> and then he, just, he just looks at you really menacingly and then laughs. And it, just, it kind of just implies, like, do you yeah. mind if I stick my finger into you? Ha, of course not, because you're locked in my basement. No one's ever going to find you. Exactly. Yeah. You'll be on milk cartons, you bitch. Yeah, then he licks his finger <laughs> for 20 minutes. It's a 15-minute video, but he fucking had his finger in his mouth for 20 minutes. There was a portal. <laughs> it was weird. You know, I, I, I'd like to argue your, your, if he doesn't eat anything with a shadow, because clearly he was only eating air pussy. Uh, <laughs> yeah, air pussy has no air shadow. Air pussy has no shadow. Okay, all right, all right. <laughs> yeah, he didn't even eat those apples. He just licked the shit out of them. <laughs> That's how he's uh, vegan as fuck. He doesn't even eat apples. <laughs> he, doesn't even eat apple. he doesn't even eat fucking plants are too alive for him. He doesn't even eat the shit that animals eat. That's how fucking he's vegan as fuck. Vegan as fuck. No, oh. see, one of my first interactions with the vegetarian was when I was in the army, and this new girl came to our unit, and we were talking about going. We're having the company barbecue, and she just starts right off the bat. I, how do you guys eat meat? All meat tastes like to me is blood. All it tastes is blood. So cut to two days later, we're at the barbecue. <laughs> and we're all sitting there grabbing up burgers. And she's sitting next to us looking like we're all eating shit. Like literally like, looking at us like... Uh. In disgust. So I say out loud, I love these burgers. You can really fucking taste the blood. <laughs> and she just got up and left. <laughs> but that was like my introduction of vegetarians I had never you know it would have been awesome if she just started fucking spewing vomit <laughs> <laughs> like purposely oh. aiming it at the birds knocking them out of her hand and I'm really sorry maybe I'm super immature but you you started that sentence off with uh, this new girl came to our unit and then I wanted you to follow it up with so my unit came on this new girl <laughs> <laughs> That's what I should have if she, if she wasn't a vegetarian Because she I remember When she first showed up I was like Wow she's kind of cute And then she opened her mouth <laughs> I'm I'm a vegetarian no, no, Literally uh, <laughs> We're going through Something kind of similar At work so the, the, per, the person That introduces themselves To you is <laughs> Before they say anything to you They, shake, they put their hand out 19 years Marines <laughs> 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 that, that was our intro- that was the way he introduced himself to me that's so great Marines. I think everybody should introduce themselves hi yeah John Richards 49 years customer service representative <laughs> no he didn't even say his name that was the worst part <laughs> <laughs> he just walked up to me 19 years Marine uh, maybe he's just sorry, handing you a resume know. like an air, uh, <laughs> an audible resume like 19 years Marine you hiring you need to kill somebody yeah he's like, <laughs> you need a mercenary population right, control I'm, I'm your guy <laughs> But, yeah, so I, I, and, uh, I've only went, met one nice vegetarian in my life. There wasn't like you crazy a vegetarian. <laughs> so I got something completely different to cleanse our minds from. Oh man, no, well, sorry, the, I don't associate with negative people. The <laughs> one, the one thing I want to just feel oh. good about before we go like away from that yeah, yeah. is before watching this video, I'm sitting here and I was eating uh, a Taco Bell, which some might argue constitutes as meat. So uh, I was technically <laughs> eating meat, uh, like 76% meat, and then I'm wearing this jacket with just a fur yeah, trim like, on it, like trim. just a fur jacket. You I are just, anti- eat, just anti-vegan Just, right just eating cows, wearing fur, I might leather as well just have socks. leather. I have a leather belt on. <laughs> I was it. actively pushing your dog off the couch. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I'm anti-vegan. <laughs> Fuck <laughs> everything this guy stands for. Yeah, I don't even eat vegetables no, unless no, they're put on my taco. The, no, the, 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 the way people are, when I tell them I don't eat vegetables, the closest thing I eat to a salad is a Big Mac. That's it. <laughs> it's got the dressing. It's got the lettuce. It's, it's the same good. thing. It's the same shit. The bread's a crouton. You know what I mean? It's the same. I just get extra croutons. <laughs> <laughs> now I can feel good about eating burgers all the time. Like it's basically a salad. It's basically a salad with different proportions. It's a burger salad. <laughs> <laughs> a salad is a promise that the food is coming. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> the salad is never the main meal. That's like soup being a main meal. That's the drink. Soup That's means the there's gonna be salad. <laughs> <laughs> no, my my favorite thing is, is have you ever been to a restaurant asking if you want the super salad? Yeah. There's always soup. one person in my group that I'll take the super salad. Yeah. <laughs> super salad. <laughs> 
I want the super salad. I feel weird because I've never really been presented with that question. Do you want the super salad? But you asked it to me, and just instinctively in my mind, it just popped up with the answer. Like, well, can I just substitute it for French fries? <laughs> that's, that's what I do. <laughs> can you just give me more greasy food? <laughs> Just give me the grease. And just, the cup. just put a yeah. Just give me a glass of grease and a like a plate of butter. Right. I'll just just skip the the middleman here. Vegetables. I eat tempura vegetables. I think that's the last time I purposely <laughs> ordered vegetables. Yeah, like, are they? Is it a deep fried salad? Yeah. That's what tempura is. It's just deep fried salad. Oh man. So yeah, I think what we're what I'll say here is fuck vegans. <laughs> Oh man, <laughs> we just burned all the bridges. <laughs> oh, that's well. That's hopefully that's you don't have a huge vegan base. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yes. hopefully you don't have a big viewer base of vegans. very <laughs> sexual <laughs> pussy eating <laughs> vegans. We just alienated your whole audience. The whole audience. Fuck. Well, hopefully this will get them back. Did any of you guys ever watch Invader Zim? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Here yeah, and there when I was little. Okay. Well, that was like the first fucked up cartoon. It's coming back. What the fuck? Are nice. you kidding me? But not in where? Not in cartoon. Form. It's actually going to come back as a new comic series. Live action? What? Oh, okay. mm. Comic series. Actually written by Johan Vasquez as well. That's great, but pause for a second because you said live action. Did you guys see the Fairly Odd Parents live action movie? What? They no. made a live I action Fairly Godparents yeah, with, like Drake Bell with Drake Timmy? Bell yeah, as yeah, Timmy. Yeah, Drake Bell's Timmy. Really? <laughs> yeah. yeah. It's, like, it's like the white kids version it, of Mac and Devin go to high school, that movie where Wiz Khalifa and Snoop Dogg somehow <laughs> both are in high school. Yeah. Wait, what? That's a movie? Yeah! yeah. yeah. There's a, yeah. It's, they made an album, and they were like, should we just make a music video? And it was somebody's great movie. idea, like, nah, let's just make a movie. And Snoop's, yeah, Snoop's like, the, like he's like the, the senior that just doesn't want to leave. He's, what? He's, he's the Van Wilder of high school. Yeah, he's, he's the Van Wilder senior. of high school. <laughs> they even have a joke. He comes in with a Letterman jacket, and it's just like filled with years that have just been crossed <laughs> out. And the best part is the plot. They're just like, okay, well, what's the, what's the, uh, how are we going to introduce the story? And then they were like, all right, Weed. Okay. Okay. Cool. All right. Now, what's the uh, the climax? Weed. <laughs> like that's the whole fucking movie. And then the best part is the epilogue is basically summed up perfectly as weed. <laughs> it's even introduced and narrated by a joint, by an animated joint. So even the announcer is just weed. What? Yeah. No, well, I mean that's all that movie can be with those two. Yeah. Like, that's. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> I think I think that's all they know now. Like it's just it's just weed. And banging strippers. But Snoop at has his own collection of porns. <laughs> Why does that? Of porn? Yeah, Snoop Dogg? Yeah, Snoop Dogg. He, yeah. He, he started with the Girls Gone Wild Snoop Dogg edition. That was terrible. It, which was horrible. <laughs> Why was oh it the Snoop God. Dogg edition? Because he was. it was just him going out to like Mardi Gras and to fucking spring break. He was getting chicks to show the tits. Isn't he married? Yeah, well, see, that's why he stopped doing the porn because originally he was doing all. He was just filming. He wasn't actually in yeah, the porn. He, he doesn't. He's, he's just like, there. Oh, he get he's just there smoking out and people yeah. fucking around. <laughs> he's just like hosting a big ass party with like a bunch of strippers. It's just like naked ass girls walking around. They're like freaking on dudes, and eventually start so they just start fucking. It's so weird. Remember like, when he was in his pimp like, mode? Yeah. 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 When he was walking around the pimp cups, that was around that time. He was just That's doing it. porn. He just Push this on my nizzles. He was in church a lot. Let there be fucking. Pretty much, yeah. And so he was just, yeah, like, the, all, all his videos are, are all, all the porn videos are him, and all of a sudden just one chick just starts blowing everybody. Yeah. <laughs> and then, like, it just turns up, and then he's just there, and all, like, he, the people yeah. are going to town just banging away, just, you know, and he's just there. Like, and occasionally he, he'll narrate something like, yeah, we're just over here at the park, she came up, she's getting crazy and shit, you don't fucking a shit. You <laughs> shouldn't be fucking, I'm over here, I'm just gonna hit, they fucking over there. <laughs> That, that's and he just it. goes back to it. <laughs> I went to a I went to a strip club for the first time yesterday, and the DJ looked almost exactly like Snoop Dogg. And it's weird that you bring that up because that's what he would do. He would just be playing a music and then randomly press the mute button and just describe what was going on. <laughs> like at one point, <laughs> she was thumping the the girl. The stripper was like thumping her ass on the floor, and it was like thudding audibly. And so he pauses it for a second, just goes, "Do y'all hear that?" And then plays the music. <laughs> And then he pauses the music again and says, Honey, do that again. And then pauses the music for a long while. And you just, it's a bunch of awkward men standing in a dark place with one girl just <laughs> on a stage. And he's just like, Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. And everyone else is like, No, don't talk. I'm not here for you to talk about anything. You know what? I think, I think all porn should have some kind of narrator. <laughs> just, just, just a cut off. 
<laughs> I love I love like like a national like like the National Geographic that guy. Just a pause like Morgan Freeman. Real quick. <laughs> <laughs> Is Morgan Freeman narrating porn? <laughs> and now, now you we, see. And now we watch as she begins to deep those cock. <laughs> You see the technique. She's learned to cup the th- to open the throat and cup the balls. This is a technique that she uses to survive because she's not good at anything except for sucking that dick. Because daddy didn't love her. <laughs> it's not, it, it, it'll, it'll just prevent all kind of, all, any any kind of acting from their part. You yeah. Know I mean? it's just, <laughs> there was a pizza. Nobody could pay for it. Extra Italian sausage was added. And now they're fucking... I'm Morgan Freeman, and this is Dick Bangers Five. <laughs> and now she can survive <laughs> on Sussex one more week. Night. Now she will make it one, one more, more week, week. <laughs> on this dick alone. <laughs> oh, to the well, next week. To, to see if she bites another dick. <laughs> she almost always does. I don't know if you guys. <laughs> I don't, <laughs> don't want to leave, leave you with a cliffhanger. She almost always does find another dick. <laughs> I haven't been disappointed yet. <laughs> I don't know, does she find a dick? What if and she doesn't survive? She'll have to suck dick. Here we see her at the gas station. Oh. oh. <laughs> your, your special gas station friend? Oh, <laughs> oh fuck. Oh, he you talk about Martinina like that. He, he told us... Even uh, the name transgender is how I am. Martinina. <laughs> Yeah, he oh. told us, Adrian told us a story before we were recording about how uh, the the late shift employee at the gas station that he frequents, well, he frequents it now, <laughs> is a transgender a car. man? Transgender woman? I'm not sure. It's Literally. going from thing to thing. <laughs> so, oh, so, so it's an it? Yeah. <laughs> so no, I believe it's going from, no, it's, yeah, it's going from guy to girl. Oh. Okay. Those are always yeah. It's going from I like seeing up. the ones that went from girl to guy. Those ones are my favorite to see because they almost always just look like a slightly effeminate man. Yeah, but just slightly more masculine than I look. <laughs> we had we had a co-host that, that, that not no longer part of the show that was it's a female tri- transgendering. Is that, is that the word transgendering? Yeah, transgendering. <laughs> just make this shit a verb. <laughs> transgendering to become a man <clears throat> and. Like I, I've, it, it, I've, I've always, I've always seen like she looks just like Drew Carey. <laughs> <laughs> Am I wrong? <laughs> Skinny Drew Carey or good old classic? Good old Drew classic Carey. Drew Carey. Okay, transforming into Mimi. The haircut, <laughs> the glasses. Oh man! But yeah, that's like if she was your co-host. Just to spike hair, though. Yeah, when she was your co-host, and she wanted. That's like the ultimate trying to just become one of the bros moment. Like, she's so into becoming one of the bros that she literally became a bro. She li- literally became a bro. Well, no, she was becoming a bro before she became be- before she got on the show. But oh. bro. I, think, I think we helped the process along. <laughs> I'd like to say we helped. I don't know if this is a family show, but getting back to the porn topic. <laughs> <laughs> we were doing talking earlier about it. I found this, like, new... This a new thing where it's like... It's like they find these, like, racist girls or whatever, and they make them... They, like, they trick them into, like... Sucking off a black dude, and they'll they'll like they blindfold them. And it's like they'll, they'll bring them just like a regular like casting couch. They'll get it to go, you know, like all right, you know, we're gonna go have a have a sex scene or whatever. They're, they're okay with it, and then they blindfold them, and then like li- like I don't know, five minutes in after they're sucking the dick, they'll take out the blindfold. They find out it's a black guy. Most of them are cool with it. There's this one. There's this one chick that just <laughs> freaks the fuck out. He takes off the blindfold and she just runs to the couch and starts bawling her eyes out. And they have to like cut. They're like trying to calm her down and she's just like freaking out of the couch because she fucking sucked off a black guy for two minutes. It's just it's the worst thing that's ever happened to her in her life. It was pretty much the funniest thing I've ever jerked off to. <laughs> and saddest thing. Well, I, like you get lucky because I don't know if you guys have noticed but like there's no more like any semblance of storytelling in porn anymore. They just no. get directly to the point. Like, I saw a video the other day that was called uh, Horny College Slut Gets Fisted in the Butt. And I was just kind of, I paused, I was jerking mid-stroke, and I just kind of stopped for a second, and I was like, hold on, there's not enough information here. Like, what's her major? <laughs> what kind of horny college slut are we talking about? I want to get to know her. Did she, did she go to community college? college? Yeah, exactly. I, I want to, really? like, I want to, like, like, get to know her. I want to, like, look into her eyes and fall in love. 
I want to take her for a walk on the beach, and then I want to see her get fisted in the butt because that's the normal order of operations. <laughs> exactly here. right. It's a process you go through. And but it's call, always call me old fashioned. Form. Yeah, call me old fashioned. But I like to get a no girl before I'm elbow deep in a snatch. <laughs> In reality porn is a big thing right now. Air quotes, reality. Like, oh, like I was watching, I was on Reddit the other day, and uh, all of a sudden I see I see a post that the legend finally shows his face. It was, uh, have you guys ever seen those fake taxi ones? Oh, yeah. yeah. The oh, ones yeah. in London? Well, mm-hmm. apparently the guy forgot forgot to blur his face because his taxi broke down and he had to get picked up by another taxi. He's got two chicks in the car with them, and they all happen to be in the back seat. And nice. You know what happens in the back of those taxis. Yeah. But everyone's amazed at the fact that he... Forgot to blur his face. Oh my god! <laughs> I was on one of those videos. <laughs> nice. You had to pay your fare. Yeah. <laughs> it was just awkward conversation. <laughs> he recognized him, but he didn't want. He was just the taxi driver. Was like, "Where are you going?" His face was like to pound town. <laughs> <laughs> this dude's face is naturally blurred. I saw him. Right <laughs> <now. laughs> that was the one time he chose to unblur yeah. his face. <laughs> It was a conscious decision. <laughs> kind of, yeah, he made, he made sure it was unblurred. Um, there was a web, I can't remember the name of the website now, but uh, with the porn thing, is uh, there's, a, there's a website you can go to that will literally, it's a live stream of like, it's, it's YouPorn, uh, Pornhub, it's just like a bunch of major porn sites, and it's a live stream of what people are searching for. Yeah, at that particular moment, <laughs> I've, I've I like it. to think that somebody's fetish is just jerking it to what pops up on there. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I bet you do like Brazilian fart porn, oh, you, <laughs> s- you dirty motherfucker! <laughs> that was one of the things that popped up. The girl sitting there just like I was bo- we were bored at work. I'm just sitting there like I-, I saw a link to it, so I clicked on it, and uh, and I'm just watching a stream of just random ass shit, and like and like every once in a while I think. Like, he, he's half asleep in the corner. Every every, every once in a while, someone just searched brother in fart porn. <laughs> That's the best. I didn't know that was a real thing until it showed up on the front page of X videos one day. <laughs> yeah, I'm like Blade. This isn't like a made up story. No, 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 just, <laughs> I'm telling you which site I use. I'm going <laughs> on this. No, see, mine's I, I, I use X and X. X myself. Which is, uh, which which is, that's which is like the mobile thing. site. They're like <laughs> sister yeah, companies. Exactly. They're like sisters who finger each other. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Everything says as seen or uh, uploaded to xvideos.com. Yeah. It's really weird. Uh, that's the only site that, that I go on. That Bing tip was great. Yeah, just Bing, Bing stuff. Bing. Oh, yeah, yeah. I told, you, I yeah. told you. Bing, Bing is the best. Bing. Oh, the Bing search bar? Yeah, yeah. it's optim- uh I read somewhere on Reddit that you can work specifically in a department that helps make it easier to find a lot of things, and a part of that department is, like, making it easier for porn searching. But yeah. you have to be, like, over an age, and you have to work there for a certain amount of time. Like, nice. they have, like, regulations. WGCTour.com. Oh, oh, I forgot I was going to randomly throw plugs to that <laughs> of the website. <laughs> <laughs> Just randomly <laughs> throw chuck those in there. No, the website plugs You're going to be, like, like, like uh, Funkmaster Flex on any song he's ever been on. <laughs> <laughs> have you heard the Funkmaster Flex rant? No. You haven't heard that? I haven't heard that. Holy sh- Okay, so a bunch <laughs> of people did, like, jokes to pilot. Even Hannibal Burris did a parody of it. But the funniest thing is that he released, Funkmaster Flex released a, a rant, and I'm not sure what it was on. Like, what's, like, thing? I think it was World Star. Uh-huh. And it's just him talking. (laughs) It's just him talking, and after every few sentences, he pauses, and there's just the explosion (laughs) noise, and he's just talking about how an app stole his idea. So he's he's just, I didn't like the interface. (laughs) (laughs) Your interface is caca. (laughs) I had the idea first. (laughs) Like it's it's just really weird. that, I think I, I don't. I think that's a part of Michael's speaking voice now. He's <laughs> he <says> sound, <laughs> just Bob's sound effects. The sound effects. <laughs> okay, He's like, what's his name? Michael Winslow. Is the guy from Police Academy. Oh, I don't know his name. The guy, the guy from Police Academy. The guy, yeah. The guy from Police Sound Academy. Sound effects guy. <laughs> oh, I thought his name was. <laughs> <laughs> his name was Good Noises. <laughs> good, good Noises with asterisks around it. Take it back to the forum days with his naming process. But, um... I forgot where we're going with this. Yeah, how, how did we get on the porn? Uh, because... What did, oh, what I made did it say? say. <laughs> 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 also, made it say. Live, Live action. Live action. Jimmy then, Neutron. So, no, Vader's Fairly Odd Parents. Fairly Odd Parents. With Leaf and Snoop Dogg. <laughs> Oh, yeah, and then the Snoop Dogg porn. That was the inception of conversation. 
I just oh, got shit. like the kick. It was just like <laughs> it was like a. Like, we were talking about Snoop Dogg, <laughs> and then the French music plays in the background. <laughs> Buddy, you were talking about Snoop Dogg's ex porn career. And then it just stops. Like, wait, how do we get, how do we get here? That, well, that, that's our show in a nutshell. We have point. to get deeper. <laughs> Your show is a conversation in a nutshell, in a nutshell, in a nutshell. Pretty much. Nutshell. Are you on yeah. Fortune? Okay, never mind. No, no, no. It's the second I thought I saw, like, the red around the, the text. No, no, no. Yeah, it's Kotaku. That's where I get a lot of my art stuff. Oh, man. But the Invader Zim comic book? Yeah, one of the things I love about it is this is a, this is a quote from him. Because I, I'm always confused when people say how much they miss Invader Zim. Because the, no, the show never stopped running in my head. So well, he's got just fucking seasons of, uh, of Invader he's Zim. He's got fucking like a decade's worth of, <laughs> of Invader Zim in his head. shit to put out. How long has it been off the air for? Uh, at least shit. That, has it been ten years? I think it's been about ten years now. I remember that the last time they had a season for sale that I saw like in stores, mm. it was on VHS. Yeah, tapes. so it's, it's really? been a while. Yeah. yeah, the last time I saw it for sale in store, they might have sold it online in DVDs now, but. Um, that's such a confusing statement to make. I I, I I get so confused when people tell me they get mad that can the Invader Zim stop because it never stopped running in my head. That sounds like he was genuinely confused about that. Yeah, no, and then like, I forgot you guys could see what I see. <laughs> yeah, I thought you guys could read my thoughts. <laughs> Wait, nobody's seen this. <laughs> you motherfuckers aren't seeing this. I gotta draw this shit down right now. <laughs> I thought the show's been going on this whole time. Well, this, this, this is a full quote. He says, "I'm always confused when people say how much they miss Invader Zim." Because the show never stopped burning in my head, and then I remember that everyone else isn't in my head. <laughs> <laughs> See, exactly. This is the rantings of a crazy person. I try oh, to imagine the world for all those people who don't know. If what it wasn't for that, that in- if it wasn't for that interview, this comic trick would never happen. Yeah. <laughs> they he just goes, reminded him. He goes, and it makes me shudder. How can people live that way? How can people live in a world without Zim? <laughs> that's it. That's what he's saying about his own creation. Yeah. He's what? basically talking about God. He's just like, I sent them Jesus. He's and then I took away Jesus. He's the Kanye of comic. They- <laughs> comic, comic. <laughs> I, you guys don't know what's been up since Amber Rose left. I'm going to tell you what's been up. Oh, fuck. Because <laughs> Eve ate the apple. <laughs> <laughs> he's been making it ever since. Hmm. Uh, my water. Oh. It's over there. You got your water over here? And we, we, we regularly pause the show for shit like this, so... Oh, no it's worries. paused now? No, no, it's still running. I'm just oh, saying, okay. like, we interrupt the conversation before. Okay. We just have a quick intermission between <laughs> conversations. Get your snacks, people. Yep. <laughs> There's concessions in the lobby. Yeah, we've sold by before. the staff. We do. There well. is concessions. You got Taco Bell, Wendy's, McDonald's. Oh, my God. The triangle of places I just want to live here now. Yes, it's the, the triangle of cardiac arrest. It's the reason I can never lose weight. <laughs> The sushi place, and then I'm like, maybe two miles from, maybe, maybe two miles from in and out. Yeah, seven eleven oh, across street, in and out down the street. I'm just in the middle of all. Why of do you even go to work? Why don't you just like squat here? <laughs> because I need to go to work to be able to buy <laughs> food. Yeah. Just steal the food. Just come on. <laughs> you just put your finger in your pocket, point it like a gun, and fake a robbery. <laughs> Give me a number one. Yeah. Super size. Super size that shit. Light sauce. We don't have super size. I said super size that shit. <laughs> this is Del Taco. <laughs> Did uh, somebody go to McDonald's? I don't know. Just solve the problem. I got another story. Speaking of people, uh, of, of things that people haven't seen in a long time, Vanilla Ice got arrested for burglary. Oh, yeah. I <laughs> oh, heard about that. I yes. read the article. What, what, what did he steal? Uh, Definitely not a career. <laughs> He says that Vanilla Ice was in the neighborhood rehabbing an adjacent house for his home rehabbing. Re- he has a home rehabbing show? Oh, I thought you were going to say he had a home rehabbing center? No, no. Like he, he needs to go to rehab so often they just built one into his home. <laughs> no, apparently he has a reality show where he goes and rebuilds houses. That's VH1 for sure. No, DIY Network. You were way off. Wait, no, I remember heard something about that. It's called the Vanilla Ice Project, and he goes to houses, and he he has a house flipping show. Yeah, my landlord watches something about that. He's he's like a real estate guy. That's a sign that you should move if he's taking tips from Vanilla Ice. <laughs> no, he watches that. He watches that thing, and then it like, came, it, DIY, it like came on, and he was like, "Did you see this shit?" <laughs> and it's all happened in Florida, of course. Uh, yeah. Obviously, that's where yeah. all the terrible things happen. Yeah, so he made up with furniture, Why do you pool think we have heater, a whole segment about it. What's that? Why do you think we have our own yeah, segment? No, yeah, we have, a, we have a segment called What the Florida. 
What the Florida? Yeah, it's just about, about the fucked up things going in Florida. Yeah, it's like a game. It's a this, game. Where this, <laughs> this, this just will... in in Florida. Um, the most fucked up thing I've heard today. People apparently are still living in Florida. Like, move already. It's Florida. Get over. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> right. You're not missing much. No, what, what we do is <laughs> What we do is I usually bring like four or five stories, uh-huh. and one, only one of them didn't happen in Florida. Oh god! And so I tell all five stories, and they have to guess which one didn't happen in Florida. <laughs> if I win, do you not? You promise me I'll never have to go, <laughs> to, never Florida. Have to, go to Florida ever. <laughs> like um, any layaway flight that goes to Florida, you'll just pay for a ticket around it for me. <laughs> yeah, you, you, you get flights. It, it, anytime you fly anywhere, you never have to stop it. Even if you ever go on a cruise, you don't stop. You never stop in Florida. <laughs> just run the boat. Just go. So you're not missing much. So, so this is a, so vanilla. I stole the furniture. He stole a bunch of furniture, a pool heater, a bike, and a couple and other various items. So wait, was it like he had one of those homes was being built for his show, and he went and took everything when it was about to be finished? Yeah. Uh. And they found everything in his house. <laughs> So the Vanilla Ice Project, he was flipping his own house. <laughs> Pretty much. No, he was in it for the long con. That episode yeah. is his episode. <laughs> is that what con I, himself? What that's a con <laughs> man. Into, man, that guy's a genius. What I like about that article is it described the things he took as, what was it, a pool heater? A, a pool, pool heater. A pool heater, a bike. What was yeah. the other thing? Furniture. Furniture and then various <laughs> items. <laughs> Those are already <laughs> various <laughs> items. It's the things that get listed together. <laughs> You oh, can't man, you want to go down to the pool heater bike and <laughs> furniture store? You can't put it, like, in Home Goods because there's a bike there. You can't put it in, like, <laughs> there's no category that they all three fit in. That's yeah. just, he stole various <laughs> items. Yeah. I, th- I guess whatever, like, the, the, the rest of the stuff was just, like, we don't even, like... <laughs> we don't even fucking, like, he's doing butt plugs, wrenches. <laughs> couple buildings. I don't know what he was doing. <laughs> Oh, speaking of motherfucker business. stole a goldfish, not the bowl, just the goldfish. I don't know. I don't know what his end game was here. Lego's coffee table when we walked in, still gasping. You, you were you were about to say something. Speaking of dildos, oh yeah, I, can't, I, can't stop that. I told you. I think I told you at work. This girl had posted a, a Snapchat. Of, she was she was babysitting her niece. She was babysitting her niece at her, at her sister's house. And she has a Snapchat of her niece running out with a double-sided dildo. Oh, <laughs> thought she was going to be babysitting her dildos. Oh, shit. I love, I love his, bu- his bug shot, by the way. He's oh, God. Like, is yeah. that what Vanilla Ice looks like? That's what Vanilla Ice looks like nowadays. Yeah, yeah, it black, looks like a black screen. It's a, it's it's a black screen. Oh, Damn it. He locked it immediately when you tried to show it to us. So Vanilla Ice <laughs> turned into chocolate. <laughs> Well, the, the, you know the thing that's, that's always funny to me is chocolate <laughs> slush. <laughs> he's he's done a song with the insane clown posture, right? Oh god! Like, and, and the thing about it was, he's never been on the record label ever. But you will never see him without his hatchet man charm. <clears throat> he's like, like he's never been associated with the label. He's there, he's done one song with them. <laughs> but he's just homies for life. Yeah, he's homies for life now. He's just always fucking hatchet man charm. So I have a confession to make, What's which that? is gonna like ruin my career. Uh, I'm really ashamed to admit this, but uh, there was a time in my life where I listened to a song by Insane Clown Posse, and I thought to myself, "Hey, this is pretty good." Uh, well, you, you should. It's all right. That. He, I, I'm, I'm a full on fan. He's you a fan. are really. Yeah, oh man, no! Yeah. I feel so bad for thinking that you, you're tainted now. You, you. It's fine. I, I felt we tainted. We give him shit for it every day. It's fine. <laughs> Yeah, I started like I was like this sounds pretty good, and then like I started melting into viewers. Fago. <laughs> you, you can feel the face paint forming. I can feel face. the face paint forming. I was just growing out like hair gel from my pores. Uh, but that's weird. So he's just like super involved with them, or no? He did he one song with them. But does like he hang he, out with he them afterwards? Them. Um, I, I guess he hung out with them for like a month afterwards. Like he just kind of hung out. Maybe they have like a con business together, and actually he was supposed to sh- give them the furniture, but they were out of town that week, so he had to keep it in his yeah, house. Keep it, yeah. So it's the equivalent of like a white girl having her first like foreign boyfriend. Yes. I'll never see Juan again, but he gave me this accent and this rosary, and I will cherish them forever. <laughs> He taught me, his people taught me so many things, like how to shave off my eyebrows and redraw them on in a place they shouldn't be. He is the white girl Chola. <laughs> his yeah. people are not artists. <laughs> These people are artists, though. Oh, how else would they be able to draw eyebrows and teardrop tattoos? Well, see, the eyebrows, the eyebrows is, is you put it and then turn your head. <clears throat> 
The, the head movement does all the work. Yeah, yeah. You, you don't do it freehand because then they come out all... Like seagulls. <laughs> like when you used to draw seagulls <laughs> as a kid. <laughs> I do that. I drew seagulls all the time. Every painting or anything I did had seagulls in the distance. It was just those lions. They just the seagulls, and then just remember that South African guy when he was talking about that. Oh, he's cute. Have you ever seen the? There's this dude, this fucking South African dude, who does like a video podcast like this, and about just like about the top videos of the week. And one of them, he's talking about these chola girls who draw them on. He's like. And it looked like oh. seagulls. Oh, <laughs> yeah, I've seen that. And did he puts see? it right side by side, the eyebrows to the actual seagull. It looked like it's fun. Did you, did, you did you see the one that he did where uh, it was that guy that was transgender and decided to uh, spend like all the money he had to give himself reconstructive surgery to look like Kim Kardashian? And he just came out looking like a monster. Yeah, it like so a he was successful, kind of. <laughs> but and then the guy he, he compared, he puts a he puts a, a the ass of a baboon next to his oh, face. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, and shit. the resemblance was uncanny. Guys. <laughs> oh man, I haven't seen that one. Check that one out. I keep saying, okay. Speaking of Kim, her a dude looking like Kim Kardashian. Have you guys seen that dude that looks like her with a beard? What? Like, I see him all over the internet. No, I. No, no, Bruce. No. Speaking of transgender, Bruce Jenner is going transgender. Bruce transgender. Yeah, Bruce, Bruce transgender. <laughs> <laughs> well, good night, folks. That's the last <laughs> joke ever written ever. We can just quit it there, right? It's not getting any better than Bruce transgender. <laughs> That's the amount of jokes I'm telling for the it. amount of money I'm getting paid. Yeah. <laughs> Whitesguyscomedytour.com. <laughs> yeah. WGCTour.com. I tried googling it, but there's way too many stuff like of people photoshopping dudes. Like, oh, that's, that's weird. <laughs> you know what you should try to Google? Uh, WiseGuysComedyTour.com. <laughs> oh, if that shit. doesn't work, go to GCTour.com. Speaking of shit, <laughs> speaking of shit, <laughs> <laughs> you <laughs> check out my website. Speaking of shit, <laughs> no, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Like, I, was, I was totally not even paying attention to what you guys were saying. It's <laughs> <laughs> even worse. <laughs> Thanks for being guests on my show. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know really what you say. He just didn't say matters. And have Don't worry, record. I can listen to it later. <laughs> Good because I, I I forgot I had this article pulled up. Is it the gargoyle? Yeah. Do you guys remember the cartoon show? Yes, yeah, so yeah. my favorite shows. No. They're making a movie, a nice. live action movie coming in 2017. Oh, I heard nice. about that. Yeah. So I'll watch the fuck out of that shit. It's gonna be. I guess since Disney bought out Marvel and they're doing all the. It, they're making Marvel make this movie. That's Gargoyles. So. Gargoyles wasn't Marvel originally. It though, wasn't. Right? Was okay. it? No, I don't think I don't so. Think it was on like a, a yeah, like it was just a regular w Saturday something. cartoon. Yeah, yeah, yeah it's like a regular so. Saturday cartoon. WB. Yeah. And then they replaced it with uh, Sonic and Sonic X and Sonic Underground, which was just horrible. <laughs> just so many Sonics. I don't. Why does like Sonic had so many cartoons that had nothing to do with the video game at yeah. all ever? <laughs> I don't, and then they started making the video games be about the shows. Yeah, it was really weird. And then they're just like, "Yeah, these are the characters. This one's in love with him for some reason." Yeah, but he's a total dick to her. He her all the time. <laughs> then there's this real emo Sonic. No, <laughs> you learn to Shadow. like him. You don't like him at first, but you learn to like him. Then he turns out he's a pretty badass character. Yeah. yeah. What I like dude. about Sonic is that any single person in Sonic that's like. An enemy just eventually ends up becoming an ally at some yeah, point. Yeah, like Knuckles. No, well, no, no, he's no. even worked with Eggman in yeah, the comics say, or in, yeah. the, in the show before. I remember there was a Sonic Racing yeah. for the Sega Saturn. It was Sonic Racing, and everybody ran except for fucking Eggman. He was just in, still in this little fucking. He was, the, he was the slowest character <laughs> ever. Always. <laughs> <laughs> if I was running, it'd be even slower. <laughs> <coughs> yeah, so Thanks there's not much Obama. else about this story other than they're making a Gargoyles movie in 2017, and it's just like you know, it, it gave me a chub. I just have yeah, to it. It gave you a chub. It gave me a chub. Yeah, you know. Oh. You, should, you should see him when he talks about. They say who's directing. Stuff. What's that? They say who's, who's directing. They just said that Disney just like has putting out a movie. Putting out a movie. Nice. You guys excited for the Star Wars? The, the oh, new fuck one. Yeah, yeah. yeah. With JJ Abrams directing that shit, and with yeah. that teaser trailer that came out. There's like black people going on. Yeah, and it's, it's, it's not not just Lando anymore. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Um, Lando was a pretty light skinned black guy too. Yeah. That was like Drake being best <laughs> friends with Han Solo. <laughs> but see, he was also the spokesperson for what, what, what Colt Forty Five. Was he really yeah. the, the actor? Yeah, he used to have all kinds of Colt 45 commercials. Oh, so he's oh, pretty man. black. So he's pretty black. Guy. For a second, I kind of thought you meant like Lando Calrissian. Like, <laughs> <laughs> what, I, what I enjoy on a Saturday morning. 
turning in my best friends, and a Colt 45. There's, mm. no better, there's no better brew in Cal City. <laughs> if there's one thing that beer and revenge have in common, they're both served best cold. <laughs> what about um, Spider-Man uh, being in, in the uh, next series of Avengers? Charles oh yeah, and they might make him Donald Glover. Donald, Glover, Donald, yeah. Donald for Spider Man. One, one half was like, yeah, Donald Glover could be Spider Man. The other half was like, fuck Donald Glover, kill bad people. <laughs> well, yeah, but see, if, if the thing is, is because Marvel already came out and said that they, well, I guess well, so, no, Sony came out originally saying we're not going to do a Miles Morales story, so Donald Glover is not going to be Spider Man. Yeah. Get the fuck over it, it's Andrew yeah. Garfield. Yeah, fuck uh, Andrew Garfield and uh, Edward Saver. No, 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 no. What's her name in uh, the show? In, in the movie, uh, the Gwen, character's Gwen name. Stacey? Mary Jane. Gwen Stacy. There you go. The Mary no. Jane wasn't in the yeah. yeah. So you're talking about Emma Stone. So okay. So explain to me who's Gwen Stacy and why is she not Mary Jane? Gwen Stacy was originally Peter Parker's crush before okay. Mary Jane, and they traded it to Mary Jane because why? Because Gwen Stacy dies. Pretty much the way she dies in the movie. Uh-huh. Uh huh. Well, no, I take that back. Wait, uh, they're taking the out Mary Jane too? No, they yeah. already took Mary Jane out. In the Amazing Spider-Man, in the Amazing no Spider-Man, it's, it's Gwen Stacy. They, Mary they Jane. See it. I don't even think they mention Mary Jane in the. No, no, not in the new one. Not in the new ones because it's just in the original. I think he's talking about the original Spider-Man, where is Mary Jane? Yeah, yeah. So Gwen in the original Spider-Man, the Gwen orig- Stacy dies, and then he meets Mary Jane. Yeah, well, she's there. She's always around, like, but she's part of the popular group, and whereas Gwen Stacy was always kind of. So in the first Spider-Man, they just kind of like made Gwen Stacy Mary Jane just to save time. Just to save time, yeah. They just combine the character. Yeah, that's pretty. But she, the way she dies, because <coughs> I, I, I want to say in the Amazing Spider-Man two, she that, spoiler alert by the way, she dies because the Green Goblin kills her. No, oh, I thought it, not the Green Goblin or the show or whoever. Yeah, whatever. Her. Jamie Foxx. Yeah, he kills her. But what happens in the actual comic book is way more fucking depressing. Is Green Goblin throws her off a bridge. And to save her, he webs down to her, and it's kind of like a bungee, bungee without a they bungee. They in the movie. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Okay, yeah. So that's. that's I remember he tries to save her, and then she like, and yeah. She doesn't. He doesn't save her, and then he's just like, no. Yeah, then, but it's in the in the in the original comic. It was the Green Goblin threw off the bridge, not Electro. I that's saw that. I saw that movie with the date. I tried to like. I tried to, like, almost seconds before Gwen Stacy dies, I tried to pull a move and just be like, whoa, put my arm over your shoulder now, and then a person died on screen, and I felt like a dick. <laughs> I was, like, mid-flirtation. It didn't stop me. But <laughs> yeah, it didn't stop me either. I was too far gone. I had to keep going with it. At, le- at least you didn't do one of those where you, where you had your hand right behind her and it was, what the fuck? <laughs> Jump force. Just, <laughs> just smack her <laughs> shit. <laughs> Snap her neck. <laughs> <laughs> no, she's my friend Stacy. <laughs> Why do I kill everything I love? <laughs> oh man! But uh, I'm uh, they in this new movie. They well, okay. In Ultimate Spider-Man, I think it's the cartoon that is running on TV. Yeah, is one of them. Is uh, they just had an episode where. Peter Parker goes through different universes, and he goes to the universe where Miles Morales exists, where Peter Parker died. Yeah. And Miles Morales takes over, and in that cartoon, in that episode, the voice of Miles Morales was Donald Glover. Well, Donald Glover. I, I, I do remember that was going to be their compromise, because so many people yeah. Donald Glover. Yeah, because they wanted it. So, But I know when they announced this new movie coming out, they're now reopening it because somebody... Somebody said that it's very, very likely with this new one, since they just made the Amazing Spider-Man. Um, they'll instead of like involving Andrew Garfield, because that was like kind of the the Dark Knight of the whole series. Yeah, where he there's no Justice League in Dark Knight universe. It's all like very real. Yeah. So maybe they'll do what they're doing for like the Batman versus Spider or versus Superman movie, where their ben, ben Affleck will play uh, Batman. Mm-hmm. So, like, they'll bring in Donald Glover to play my I would like that, because, I mean, the, there are so many different mm-hmm. universes that they mm-hmm. could... Yeah, so that, I mean, that would be cool. I would like to see that. I'm glad all of that came out in a cognitive sentence. <laughs> I'm not a little... I'm still a little stoned and hungover from last night, so I'm, like, just... I'm really impressed that all of that made sense <laughs> to people. I felt like your kid earlier. I was about to never do it for... Well, we deal with someone who's just constantly stoned. Yeah, Chubb Bidge, my brother, he usually, we, he, he's, he gets guello before every show when he goes down. Guello? Yeah, because he, he has another character called, we call him Guello Chente, and he does movie reviews in a very thick, 
heavy accent. Yeah. And he doesn't give no shits he, for spoilers. Yeah, Gola Gu- Gu- Chen they give no shits for spoilers. Do not like the movies. <laughs> but he only does Netflix reviews. Netflix. <laughs> only does Netflix, Netflix, or, Netflix originals? Yeah. <laughs> no, no, no. As long as it's been on Netflix. 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 Oh. <laughs> Netflix. <laughs> even better with just Netflix originals. But, yeah, like, I, I forgot he did, he did uh, a review of the movie Butter. Because <laughs> <laughs> And, you know, right now, we, we don't webcast right now. We're, we're planning to do it soon later, but uh, he, we don't webcast at the moment. But he was, it was all, the, the entire review was all physical. He's talking about how they, how they sculpt butter and they just, <laughs> just how you sculpt butter. Apparently, <laughs> that's the way you do it. And he was just doing that the whole time, just giving the review. <laughs> so, the people, gonna, they don't know how I was waving my hands. Uh, you know? I thought he was going to give, like, just horizontally. Like you said, no, just Netflix originals or no, no, he, he, he Then the white girl going through the prison. <laughs> And there are some other people, and she doesn't feel very comfortable. She kind of misses her outside life, and she realizes she may have taken things for granted. I don't know, Holmes. <laughs> you know what? That would have been better than any of him. <laughs> <laughs> I'm taking over the segment. It's mine now. You, you I won't tell you how to make butter. I'll tell you like it is. Uh, Going back to comic book movies really quick. Ryan Reynolds. Uh, has sexy beast. Yes, yeah. he's stolen my heart. He's he's leaked uh, a sex tape. No, oh, no the mask no. of the, the mask uh, of Deadpool. Deadpool. I'm sepia tone. No, I'm very upset. I what? thought it was going to be a sex tape. Oh. <laughs> Let me see it. <laughs> you can kind of see it right there on the side. It, it looks clean. But yeah, it looks it looks like fucking Deadpool. So I'm I'm happy with that. Well, in the uh, in uh, right, what, right. what's that movie? The X Men. X Men Origins. Yeah, they showed him as possibly being Deadpool. Yeah. Didn't they? Well, yeah, well, yeah, he, they, was, they, he, he was, was Deadpool. Deadpool. He was Deadpool. But they fucked yeah. it up so much at the end. Yeah, they, they were yeah. just like, yeah, so he's a genetic needed. mutant. Guy. He was fa- he, he's a great Deadpool in the beginning as Wade Wilson. Uh, when he oh, just yeah, has the sword and he just chops bullets and fucking <laughs> yeah, well, he just yeah. gives I, no yeah. shits about anybody. But see, my thing about that was they fucked it up because. Wade Wilson and Deadpool are opposite, like in the movie. Because Wade Wilson, when he was Wade Wilson, he was very quiet, very stoic, very serious. And then fucking he goes crazy because of all the fucking testing they did. And that's when he becomes the Mark of the Mouth. Yeah. In the movie, it was like he's this fucking wow. loud, crazy, fucking wisecracking guy. And then they take away his mouth. Yeah, they took his mouth. It was like they, they, they took away that he's known as the Merc with the mouth. And they, they fucking took it, away his it. mouth. Like, <laughs> so he's like, well, now I just gotta be an asshole. Yeah. If I can't make people think I'm an asshole. I just got to play the part. Well, I love the fact that the one, the only part of that movie that when it came to Deadpool that I loved was when they cut off his head. He was still shooting the beams as his head's falling. Yeah, <laughs> that was cool. <laughs> that was cool. Oh shit! I have. A, I forgot there was another video I wanted us to watch. What? What is it? GameStop's training video on speaking to women. They actually have a full on. Video like when you go to when you GameStop has a training video to did you hear, to work. Did yeah. you hear GameStop and uh, the GameStop in I think it was Omani got robbed the other day. Really? Yeah, there was a there was a, a car meet. I know this because my friend likes cars, so he goes to like car meets, and I don't I don't know anything about cars, so I don't like I stay away from that seat. I uh, I was telling him that I I I can explain cars like a three year old explains cars. Like I like car, I like fast car. <laughs> I like blue car, but sometimes I like red car. <laughs> you know, I just like car. But he was he was at the car meet. I wasn't there. I was at home just waiting for him to like text me, and we would go hang out afterwards. Yeah. And uh, he just goes. He calls me, and I'm just like, "Hey, what's up?" And he's like in a panic, and he's like, "Dude, I'm coming to your house right now. The cops are here." And I was like, "What? <laughs> did you, did you kill Don't come here! Don't come here!" <laughs> Don't come here. They never open a conversation with that. <laughs> So so I'm freaking out and I'm just like what what why what happened and he's like oh uh, there's cops all over the car meet and they're trying to investigate everybody and they're like pulling people over and they're searching everybody and I was like you're not making me want you to come here more I'm gonna give you a fake address <laughs> and so he's like no we were at the car meet and then I guess somebody went in and robbed the GameStop and then just went walked away on foot and just got away nice. because the police got there and saw the big group of people with fast cars and when the people with fast cars saw the cops they all sped away <laughs> so then the cops were like son of a bitch <laughs> yeah, and the real the again. real person that did it got away on foot. foot they just ran away I always okay I used to I used to work as a bank guard and I always used to say about uh, uh, as a bank guard 
one of the things they tell you to do is when so, if someone tries to rob the bank, all you do is you go outside, you get the license plate, and that's it. But what if they're walking? <laughs> what if they take off running? They will get their shoes. <laughs> <laughs> they, they told me one of the one of the uh, bank tellers told me they got robbed by a homeless dude. <laughs> dude came in, said he had a gun. They gave him money, and he walked away. They never found him. They was never a, found him. There, I was. This is probably going to get me on some list, but there was something <laughs> that popped up on Reddit one day, and it was like, uh, "Did you know that it was it was a ridiculously high number too? It was like sixty or something percent of uh, bank robberies." go unsolved just because people don't do it the wrong way because I guess what you're supposed to do and this is what is going to get me on the list because of what I, I went into in-depth search and trading about <laughs> the, right, the right and wrong ways of how to rob a bank I looked up multiple like ways that people have done it what did it didn't work I was on tour for a bit to find forums about people who like actually did it and they were saying how uh, if you go up say you have a gun tell one teller They'll put all the money they have, which at most is like seven hundred dollars. Yeah. So you're only getting that, and since you're robbing a bank, it also becomes a federal case. Yep. So it, there's not any kind of like, no one's going to risk federally fe- or like federal prison and like this big investigation for seven hundred bucks. Mm-hmm. So when you do, there's not a lot that people can do to stop it because they're like, well, he didn't, he's got away. There's no way to find out who did it. But when they fuck up and like rob the vault. Or make a big scene, or like get multiple tellers. Yep. That's when it becomes a problem. Or when there's a bomb. Yeah, yeah. If they, if they say they have a bomb, if they, or if they take hostages, they try to do a takeover robbery. Yeah, or they do multiple tellers. That's the only. That's the only time they actually make a big fucking deal about it. Yeah. So, uh, uh, I was talking to, as a, when I was when I was working at the banks, I had a, a cop and we were talking about it because we had an incident inside the bank that everyone thought was a robbery, but it was just some guy who was off his meds. <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> okay. Uh, well, he came in like he goes like he came in and said, uh, "This is a robbery. Give me." He, said, he he only asked for like a dollar fifty or some shit like that. And then he went and sat down in the lobby waiting for the cops to show. Up. He just. Oh, I wait. I heard something about that. Like he he wanted to get arrested, so he robbed the bank. But then he purposefully got caught. Mm-hmm. And then I forget why, but it turned out like he was crazy or yeah, something. He was but up off he was bed. homeless or something, and he wanted a place to stay, so he robbed the bank to get put in jail. Pretty much, yeah. This, yeah, this happened in uh, it was a Wells Fargo in Santa Ana. Yeah, that was that close. Yeah, I read about that on the, on the internet. There was a horn. The internet there goes everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> the internet's following me. It's yeah, like, don't talk about the internet. <laughs> no one can know about this secret thing. That's what the horror is. Yeah, 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 cut it off. Cut it off. <laughs> Hey, no, 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 internet. Uh, but he was telling me like that, that if you really, if you're gonna rob something and you want to get big money out of it, rob one of these mom and pop liquor stores. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's yeah, where yeah. The big money is. It's not a. You won't get. It won't become a federal case because it's not a. You know, They're not FDIs. federally insured or anything. Yeah, and so the only thing you have to worry about is if mom and pop got wise and got a gun. Exactly. Yeah, mama and, and got I've, a gun. And I've seen a lot of most dangerous. A lot of those motherfuckers got guns. Yeah, yeah. Oh, fuck yeah. Mama <laughs> just killed a man. There's there's a video uh, of security footage. There's a guy trying to rob a liquor store or a gas station, I think. And there's a guy with a wheelchair coming in right behind him. And the dude with the wheelchair also just like he, he doesn't hop up because you know he can't. Yeah. But the guy goes to run by him, and the guy in the wheelchair just kind of grabs him and gets him in a fucking rear naked choke and just holds him down. It's like how fucked up is that that you got taken out by a dude in a fucking wheelchair? <laughs> and those muscles are like made purely by him just jerking it, <laughs> just sitting alone, wallowing in his own like sadness and jerking it. That was a fucked up joke. <laughs> but it's true. Uh, oh, okay. This is a dude. But Kim, it's, what? he looks just like him, fucking Kardashian. But he has a fucking beard. That's a dude. Weird. Uh. That looks like if Kim Kardashian was a zombie, or not a zombie, a vampire, played by Russell Brand. <laughs> <laughs> it looks exactly what that looks and like. And I, I keep seeing I mean, I wouldn't say just like her. I would say... Pretty good at both of them. I would say he looks Armenian. He looks like a regular Armenian girl who hasn't shaved. <laughs> <laughs> but, like, I keep seeing this person all over the internet. Full-on breast implants, full-on... Why would you keep the beard? <laughs> yeah, and then, like, what, what I love about it is look how fucking <laughs> groomed that beard is. Look how fucking neat and trim. Yeah. Like, that, that beard he wants is, that beard. Yeah, that beard is there on purpose. Okay, wait, hold on a second. Fuck this guy. <laughs> I don't, like, he doesn't even want to be a man, and he can grow a great beard. 
and I try so hard to get people to believe that I'm like a manly man, and I can just grow like peach fuzz. This is bullshit. Yeah, that I mean, well, I mean, obviously he's Armenian, so I mean, yeah. he doesn't even want his dick. <laughs> but yeah, he looks just like fucking. I was like, that scares me. At first, I thought it was Photoshop. I thought it was just like someone fucking like, uh, talking shit and Kim Kardashian. She's really a dude. He's over here, over the beard. <laughs> but this is an actual separate person. <laughs> Who looks like Kim Kardashian? That's crazy. And speaking of just random ass shit, <laughs> we talked about this slightly off air. Florida teen has the world's first penis reduction surgery. <laughs> yeah, I love this. <laughs> this isn't even the first place people have talked about it. I, d- I got off uh, doing a stand-up show, uh, which you can find more information about at wiseguyscomedytour.com. WGCtour.com. Damn, that was fucking hella natural. <laughs> uh, I, that, was, that was good. I, I was doing a stand-up segue. show. <laughs> I was doing a stand-up show. And uh, afterwards we went out and somebody was talking about the guy that got the penis reduction. And I guess they used that in the article to describe it. Like that's what wor- the words that everyone else was using is it was as big as a football, yeah. but not in the way that you think the football would be standing. <laughs> it's not the football standing long ways. It's like the football lying on the ground. Like hey Arnold's it's, head. Yeah. yeah. It's, <laughs> it's, 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 it looks like hey Arnold's trying to, he's trying to fucking give birth. <laughs> But so I, I have pictures, and they're not pictures of his dick. They're MRI photos. Oh. So, but once he turns eighteen, I want to see him. <laughs> oh man, Jesus That's, Christ! Yeah, it looks like a water balloon. It looks like a peanut, and they literally yeah. busted a nut. <laughs> but do okay. So oh, let's see here. This is the guy's seventeen years old. They don't give his name, obviously, because he's a minor. But he goes that. All kind, you're all just all the time they get people coming in asking to get their dick bigger. I, he's, I've never had anyone coming in. Can you make my penis smaller? Like this dude couldn't even wear pants. Like, like how? Yeah, but he's been living with that thing for, for 17, 17 years, years, or 17 years. did it just like swell up randomly? Or no? Yeah, what, what, what was the cause of it? Was it a disease? He's just been born some, with it, I think. Yeah, it's. He said he's suffering from se- yeah. severe priapism. Priapism. Every guy's gonna try to get that now. Yeah. <laughs> is it contagious? I want to get vertical priapism, <laughs> or it's or spontaneous, uncontrollable erections. It causes the member to swell beyond reason. What beyond the f- reason? I, I would say that's beyond reason. That's that's a football. Uh, yeah. yeah. So this is the thing. <laughs> so it, it, he and Tom Brady both got their footballs deflated. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right, guys. This is the second. That's the second time we're ending yeah. jokes forever. <laughs> Transgender and super <laughs> and deflate gates. I'm a hack comedian. <laughs> Zing. So his, his length, he's seven inches long. Oh. But the circumference, ten inches. So is it still seven inches long? But still, yeah, they didn't take anything from the length. Oh, okay. I wish they added more to the length. <laughs> Couldn't they help him out or something? Yeah, yeah, they, 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 just yeah, they, just, yeah, they just took the thickness and put it yeah, in the it length. Can, it can now he's got a 17-inch dick. <laughs> like, he's just <laughs> crazy. <laughs> <laughs> like, it's he still down. can't wear pants, but at least now it's better. He's got to wear special socks with a cup holder. Can't wear shorts out of the public. Are you wearing ankle straps? No, it's cockles. <laughs> <laughs> well, you can wear shorts in public if he's um, if he's feeling like yeah, it. Yeah, he's feeling. Use it as a belt. <laughs> For some reason, in this show we always end up talking about weird dicks. Weird dicks. Two weeks. Uh, With two a double dick dude. Double dick dude. A couple oh, weeks ago. Oh shit! I saw a double. I saw a double dick dude on X videos the other day. Oh, and pissing. <laughs> weird. Wow. I didn't see pissing. No, I just saw some guy with two dicks fucking a guy oh. or a girl. Whoa. Yeah, girl, Whoa. Whoa. Double dick dude. Whoa. This dude came out with a book. It turns out he's bisexual. What? But he loves Is people. one of his penis straight and the other one's gay? <laughs> <laughs> Please tell me that's how this would be awesome. Like a girl got <laughs> naked and only one of them got naked. Let's see which dick is straight today. Yeah. <laughs> It, it was cool. It was crazy. They're actually side by side. No, they're because yeah, they, you would think they'd be on top of like on top yeah. and bottom would be the ideal. But yeah, they're side by side. Is there an ideal for a double dick? I think. I think <laughs> well, I, I mean, well, I think when you first think about it, you think you think one on top. Oh, of the I, I think, think yeah. Ass. Because, okay, yeah, 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 yeah. But no, they're side. I wasn't by even side. thinking like that. Yeah. See. You, you you would totally misuse two dicks. <laughs> yeah. You well, would no, I could use turn sideways. Well, yeah, obviously. But. You would use them for the raw. You'd pee out of one and jerk it with the no, other. No, see, because I wouldn't want them on top of each other. Because exactly like that, if you pissed, 
No, yeah. Let me get some piss on the bottom day. The yeah, bottom day would be like streams. the fucking terrible stepbrother. They hate the fucking ginger. That's a ginger dick. It even grows red hair around it. Oh, what kind of stepbrother are you pissing on? What kind of fucked up family are you from? The thing about Double Dick Dude was he likes to take pictures of, of his dick, but he has to make sure his asshole's in the picture as well. Yeah, and the way we gaping. described it was it looks like, it looks like you know, those old-fashioned donuts? Uh, <laughs> just the ones that are like the, the top of them are, it's all like just that was the same dude mm-hmm. that was the same dude yeah oh my god dude. so it, he shouldn't even be double dicted he should be fucking blown out tire <laughs> asshole dude <laughs> baboon oh, asshole his asshole literally like that <laughs> the entire right. lower half of his body is just a miracle mystery <laughs> <laughs> it really is but see, he got 14 toes two dicks and a gaping butt <laughs> he's back in the news again because oh my god <laughs> Because, he, well, he came out with a memoir about his life as Double Dick Dude. <laughs> and, uh, That's a uh, fucking name. Well, Double, 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 Double Dick Dude. To keep it friendly, he's Die Phallic Dude. Die <laughs> Phallic Dude. But, uh, he, so he's talking, he talks about, the, like, people are calling out all his bullshit stories. He, uh, one story he claims that he fucked a woman's cervix out of her body. Like Is her, this, are both of his penises big, or are they, like, average? They're both, yeah. they were both eight, eight or nine inches long. Yeah. Yeah, they're both they're both pretty, they're both pretty impressive. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Chuck Dish was jealous. Yeah, as soon as I think we all were. Wait, <laughs> this what? guy this guy has two eight inch penises. Yeah. Are you kidding me? <laughs> you fucking asshole, a greedy son of a bitch. <laughs> See, this entire show is making me feel bad. There's one guy whose dick was so big, <laughs> yeah, he was smaller. <laughs> There's one guy that has two big dicks. <laughs> are you just trying to make me feel bad about myself? <laughs> and he gets big dick in his ass. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. This is terrible. We're jealous about that. Well. Well, I'm just, I'm just saying, like, if we're talking purely sit- Oh, dude, I didn't want to see it! I didn't want to see Double Dick Dude. No. It looks like the spaghetti monster from Pastafarianism. <laughs> see, that'd be even worse if they were on top of each other. You should have another oh dick on top of it. That was so gross! What, what, what are you trying to do? Get your dick off your leg? No, I'm trying to get my dick off my <laughs> dick. <laughs> but yeah, so do the, uh... Dude, uh, uh what the fuck has happened today? <laughs> I saw a guy air eat a vagina. To get his two I've seen ties. A double dick dude in his asshole. <laughs> <laughs> I kind of hoped he had four balls, but he didn't. <laughs> he did. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 no. That was the only question. Yeah. <laughs> but see, okay, in the original story, he was talking about because he was coming out with a book and he had just he just had successful surgery to get the plumbing fixed because he was saying that. He could he could come and piss out of both of them, mm. but only but one had lower pressure than the other. <laughs> so he had to get the plumbing. Dude, could he choose the first one? Problems, he could, man. <laughs> that, no, no, it was the left one. The no, it's always the left one. The le- <laughs> it's always oh, the no, left. I thought I, no, but can he like? Okay, I'm gonna piss out of the left one. So yeah, right he, one, yeah can he right control one? which one he pissed left. out of? The low right. pressure was a gay left, one too, right. for sure. Right. He has to just. Or does he just have to point at both of the toilet bowl, hope for the best? <laughs> I think that's yeah. He has to tie one off. <laughs> so it goes to hold it. But so like you, that's why he has our hose. But that's why you get the plumbing fixed, so they both have equal equal pressure now. So did he lower the pressure to make it equal to the lower one, or did he make the other one be higher the pressure? Yeah, that's, yeah, that's a good question. That, that's a good question. That, that I, find I out. Yes. I'm, I'm not okay, you guys do your research. I feel like that guy with two dicks. Yeah, I feel like the show is very unprepared without knowing this kind of stuff. But so yeah, so now, that, but the, now that now that his books come out, people are calling him out. So he says that he can turn any man gay, any man. And he has a story where he was he, he met a dude at a club, talked him into coming home with him, and figured out he was a power bottom, whatever the fuck that is. Means that you just take it in the ass. Yeah, you, you don't. You don't, okay, don't, you don't ask how we it. know. <laughs> so don't basically, ask, don't ask how so you're like two guys that came here together and both were like, "Yeah, power bottom." Power bottom. Yeah, that's fucking typical. Yeah, yeah, I know. What you're so about. he goes, he goes, "This guy's a power bottom," and shoves, and like with no warning at all, just shoves both dicks into dude's ass, and dude just loved it and went nuts. Oh man! So that was one of his stories. Is the that how story. is that how people go gay? They go nuts. <laughs> like, <laughs> <laughs> they start to anyway. And then the other one was that he fucked the woman's cervix out of her body, and she uh. still didn't want to stop. Like her cervix. Was literally hanging out of her pussy. Well. No, no, it's fine. I don't need that <laughs> shit. <laughs> okay. She's like, keep going, keep going. Why'd you stop? Uh, he, his dick was just out in the cervix from that point. You were trying. You were trying. He to, just no, he, in there the was cervix. one. There was one dick in the cervix, and then <laughs> he's like, "Fuck it, I'll switch it. I got the JV team right here." Exactly. <laughs> 
JV dick. There's not much pressure, but it's six flaccid. <laughs> I feel like I can qualify myself as JV dick. Like, I'm not varsity dick. Not and I'm not young enough to be frosh dick. I'm just JV dick. I got promoted just due to age. Yeah, just due to age. <laughs> yeah. But you said... Uh, Time you and said, service. <laughs> Time and cervix. Hey, <laughs> So, you, you said that he could turn any man gay. Yeah. Uh, and I'm trying to, like, you said that sentence, and I'm trying to figure out the logic of, like, how he can do that. And the only thing that I can think of is, okay, he's got two dicks. Yeah. So, if some guy shoved two dicks in my ass, one dick in my ass would probably seem a lot more preferable. <laughs> yeah, that's the thing. So, like, I'd want to be gay, but just because I don't want another dick in there... <laughs> Preferably, there would be no dicks in there. Yeah, that's my choice. Yeah, you'll say it would have to be dick in there. If I had to stay in the matter, it would be zero. But if I had to choose between one or two eight inch dicks, it'd be one dick. It's going to be the low pressure eight inch dick. The low pressure eight inch dick. Because I, okay. This is the deal. It's like, you're going to get dick in the ass. That's that's going to happen tonight. If you could just get. If you take one. I'll, I'll, I'll fuck you with one, and then you have to sleep outside. <laughs> but if you take two, you can sleep on the floor, and I'll buy you a McGriddle tomorrow. <laughs> You'll be gay and have I feel like he's cheap. Sense. I feel like he's cheap. You had me at McGriddle. You had me at McGriddle. <laughs> That's the last word. You listen to all of that. <laughs> Yeah, but I, I don't feel bad for this kid. I don't which which, which <laughs> kid? <laughs> the one with Eddie. the football dick? Eddie. Football Eddie. Dick. Florida teen is world's first pe- Is that really him? No, or did they just find a sad teenager? Oh, oh. That was like, is he sucking his, his, suck his own dick right now? <laughs> 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 but that's what, I love the picture. I was going to show you. They try to make it seem like, oh, he's going through this horrible, is horrible it just, thing. Is it just weird? It's like he has really long legs and a very small torso. Holy shit. So this kid's just this before yeah. all the way around. I see why he's depressed. <laughs> but yeah, I, I don't feel bad for the kid at all. I got a big dick. Yeah. <laughs> oh, fuck. Uh, I got a couple more stories. I mean, we're, we're at time, but we can keep going if you like want. I'm down for whatever. Right. I'm down for WGCTour.com. <laughs> WGCTour.com. WGCTour.com. Wise Guys Comedy Tour.com. <laughs> <laughs> Double dick, double dick, double dick. <laughs> Are you guys aware of the swatting phenomenon? You guys heard of swatting? Swatting? Yeah. Like when you uh, Call run into uh, a, a black man's house with excessive force <laughs> and kill his family? <laughs> there's there's a phenomenon on my... You, you, you know uh, tw- about Twitch, right? People watching other people play video games. Which I'm aware of it in the concept that you just told me. <laughs> yeah, about. Not as a <laughs> and now I know. I know it by definition okay, only. Yeah, well, there's this thing right now. This literally, you know, you're going on and watching someone live stream as they play video games. They talk, and it's, it's mildly entertaining, depending on the person playing. And uh, one of the phenomena that's been going on is people. I guess they get jealous, or they just haters, and yeah. they call in fake terror threats to whatever they find out. They find the person's address is streaming. And calling a fake terrorist threat saying, oh, I'm so-and-so, and I just killed my dad and two people, and I have bombs flying around the city. SWAT team shows up. Well, this, kid, this kid's just in there playing Call of Duty. SWAT team busts in the door, arrests everybody in the fucking house. God damn and, it. Yeah. This, so, this, it's, 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 a, it's been happening. One dude, his dad actually got shot in the chest. Oh, my by God. A SWAT. That survived. But got so- shot in the chest with a, with a fucking shotgun. <laughs> because Jesus. when the SWAT team came through. Uh, well, so they've caught. There's one kid, a 15 year old kid, that got caught. They kept saying he was going to get 25 to life. He ended up, he, he, he was underage. They gave him, like, community service and some bullshit. What the fuck? Uh, yeah. You almost got a man killed and you just have to pick up some trash? Yeah, exactly. Yeah, and bullshit. be extra nice? He's but white, so, though. He's white. He's white. That's is he white? Is he white? Yeah, he's, white. Yeah, he's yeah, probably white. No, he yeah, he was. He was. I think, but, so, I think a little, little white kids have enough time to do that stuff. Going back to the previous two stories, both of those people were white. Yes, right? yes both of them. Double, Double dick. dick dude and football dick. And football dick. Holy shit. We saw that one. I mean, the only thing that could have made it fucking more unbelievable is if he was Asian. If <laughs> <laughs> you know, were Asian. Oh no, it's like a football. <laughs> <laughs> it's a football. <laughs> oh, one bad Toyota? <laughs> it looked uh, like a fortune cookie. <laughs> <laughs> but so, uh, a Nevada man has just been arrested uh, and he's going to be extradited to Illinois. Because he called SWAT team on somebody, 
and he's going to be he's facing five years in jail. Why is he going to be extradited? Because he called a SWAT team on somebody in Illinois. Okay, so where, where's he from? He's from Vegas. So from they're going to send him to be charged in, in Illinois. Yeah, yeah but why? They, I want to know like what what's the difference? Is it because it seems like it would be more severe in Bay in Nevada? Nevada, yeah. Than it would in Illinois. You can shoot people in Illinois. I don't know. It doesn't. It doesn't. I think, I think it's because the thing actually happened in Illinois, yeah, so they have to they, try him in Illinois. They ha- I think they might just have to try them in Illinois. Well, I mean, if, if they're extra, that, that means somebody requested that, right? Because they, otherwise it would be wherever they got him at. Could have just been fucking Illinois. Illinois could have just been like, yeah, I want to fuck uh, this guy over. Yeah, it could be. It, because I'm focusing Illinois. on the wrong part of the story, I think. I think but you are. Yeah. Okay, okay, that's what it was. <laughs> My thing is, is <clears throat> he's only facing five years. This dude, not only, okay, a SWAT, he, he, he called and said that he reported a murder at the place at this at this kid's house. SWAT team showed up, put everybody on the ground, and no crime was, no was discovered. See, I just answered your questions because it was Illinois. That's why he only got five years. Uh, the guy also threatened the victim's banking and social security accounts, adding that he would put the victim's father in debt for life. So I guess so. So not only is he fucking calling the SWAT team, but he's also threatening to hack and a take kid. It. Yeah, right? this is yeah. an adult talking to a kid. No, this, uh, this guy's nineteen years old. Oh. So it's like me talking to a kid. I, how do they find these people? Uh, IP addresses? Yeah, IP addresses. So like the, these people call the SWAT team and they get the get their IP address? Get they, their they, what they do is they no, get the IP people, address. People can, uh, you can figure out someone's uh, home address through their IP address by locating. <coughs> and also are. through their like phone plans and stuff. Yeah. yeah, You can triangulate from where the signal came and then it's pretty easy to find. Yeah, it's not it's not hard. if you're Especially if you're live streaming, it's not hard to find where you're streaming from yes. at all. Yeah, because they're all linked into you. It's very comforting. It's kind of one of those things like, you know, you see in movies like, keep them on the phone another uh, a few more yeah. seconds. Yeah. As long as Where li- live streamers do that for hours at a time, so they got all the time in the world. All to do the time that. in the world to find out exactly. I what think you're the at. only two situations where it's okay to say, "Keep them on the phone for another thirty <laughs> seconds." We almost got them. Is when you're either a trying to track somebody or b talking on a phone sex line. There's thirty seconds. <laughs> Just keep him right there. We almost got him. We're, we're almost at the double the, the, the double, double time. Yeah. <laughs> oh man, one of these is gonna be big and the other one's gonna be meh. <laughs> Double do phone, so, do phone sex lines still exist? Yes, yeah, yes I see they do. Are you kidding? Them the over time. Yeah, I, you know I don't watch late night TV anymore. See, so. see, I, I, I got, I started saving money. I just jerked into the commercial, fifteen right. seconds. Yeah, that's all I need. Because they give you a pretty good uh, sampler on those things. I'm not gonna lie. If you uh, watch as two as over a young row. teenager. <laughs> <laughs> th- those commercials are just enough. Yeah, as a well, young, imagine, as, like, a young, as a young teenager, the best thing was waking up. Like, I, I would fall asleep watching, like, Showtime or something. Yeah. Wake up in the middle of the night. Just I was just going to say. Softcore porn. I'm 19 years old. I live on my own now. So, like, I'm not I'm not living with, like, my mom or my family or anything. I'm, like, out on my own. And uh, the other day I found out that our, my landlord, he has cable and he shares it with the rest of us. Uh, or DirecTV, I guess that's satellite. Mm. And we get Showtime. And when you turn on the box and it's been off, it just automatically goes to the Showtime channels. Nice. And, or Cinemax or something. So there was just like real softcore porn. <laughs> like this girl was getting I mean, eaten out, but she's like actually getting her belly button kissed. It's like really weird. Yeah, that's. So like I saw that and I was super excited. And then, like I said, yesterday I went to the strip club for the first time. <laughs> And it's 18 and up. So there's just pussy being thrown around. I don't know if I told you a stripper stole my glasses. Nice. It took... It, it, she invited me on stage. So I'm on stage with the stripper. And uh, I've been told, yeah, why do you want to go to a strip club when you're just looking at boobies you can't touch? So I go in with the whole, like, oh, if, if I touch it, one of these big black guys is going to, like, punch me and throw me out. So I'm, like, being very respectful and, like, throwing out singles and saying, you're welcome, and, like, <laughs> minding my P's and Q's and singles. Uh, so this is all going on, and uh, the first dancer that comes to the stage, like, the actual, like, stage that she's come out now and she's performing for us in the front row, she comes up to me and tells me to stand up, I get on stage, and she makes me motorboat her tits. And nice. my glasses start just flying off, and she takes them and puts them on, and then she starts like pole dancing, so I don't ask for them back, and then she leaves, and I don't know what happened, and then I tried to find her, and I found the girl that she performed with, 
And I ended up trying to, like, ask for my glasses back, but I'm very socially awkward. So through a series of bad questions and answers, I ended up going in for a private dance nice. with nice. not even the right stripper. <laughs> <laughs> and I couldn't even see her because I didn't have my glasses. <laughs> yeah, I couldn't see anything. <laughs> and just a fucking vagina know, blur. The lap dance was really weird. It wasn't weird. until she was this close. <laughs> yeah. Well, look, exactly. So the lap dance was really weird because she started, like, a, she did this weird thing where she got up on the couch and started shaking her ass, like, about... I don't know, like, a few inches from my face, and I was just kind of like, this is just, like, 3D porn. There's not... <laughs> I don't understand the benefit of strip clubs. And then she started doing this move where she, like, backs up and, like, slaps her pussy onto your face. So I'm just getting slapped in the face by, like, this vagina. Just like, who is this good for? Are you enjoying this? I'm not enjoying any of this right now. Just my neck is hurting. It's going back. And then she slides down and, like... I feel like I'm going to get pink eye at this point. She like, <laughs> slides down my body. I, feel like I, already feel, on my I already feel really gross now. And she starts like grinding on my private area. And I was just like, okay, this part's really nice. This part's really good. And then, uh, re- oh, remember that, that girl that I told you about earlier that like slammed her ass on yeah. the stage? Turns out the stripper I got a private dance from is that girl <laughs> who saw that when she did that, I went... Woo! And tip two singles. So she was like, I'm going to incorporate this into his dance and just start so slamming her out. ass on my dick. And basically, like, okay, so you guys have nailed a, a nail in or hammered a nail in? Yeah. Uh-huh. It's basically like that. She was just like, my dick was just like, that. no, no, God, no boner. <laughs> Bad dick. Bad dick. <laughs> so I went to the strip club. It started off pretty good, and then I got robbed and beaten by strippers' asses. Well, well, by stri- well, technically, I got robbed by a stripper's titties, and then I got beaten up by a stripper's ass. You got mugged. <laughs> yeah, I got mugged by strippers' body parts. That's fucking awesome. And that was my night. <laughs> that is awesome. So the uh, the point is, is that I don't know. Uh, Cinemax porn is. I used to think that was pretty brazen. And but now I don't know what to think anymore. No, you know what? To go but to go to that to continue with that point, I remember one of the first it was uh, Cinemax. It was one of those late night movies. And I remember as not seeing porn because you know, in the late nineties or mid nineties when I was a teen when I was a young teenager and hadn't experienced any of that, like fucking Playboy magazine is a shit, you know what I mean? Yeah. With that, I didn't have internet back then. And uh, one of those Skinamax movies came on. And I remember thinking this was the greatest thing I've ever seen in my life. It was like the, the fucking hottest thing ever. It was like my favorite movie to watch. And then I recently found it on the internet <laughs> and decided to watch it. It's so it's soft. It's so fucking horrible. Like, I think the, the, the one hottest scene is is uh, the chick is... Like, the whole thing is like the chick cheats on her husband. And the dude like keeps stalkerish showing up. And he ends up dating her little sister. And he's like threatening, like it's like Fifty Shades of Grey, <laughs> dominating. But like, oh, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna tell your husband if you don't do this. So he keeps calling her house in the middle of the night, and like you're gonna finger yourself on the phone, or to keep calling until he wakes up. Oh, but he's next to me. So then, like, so all, so what she does is she rips over, like literally, she's on the phone, rips up in her fucking pajama top, like, playing with her titties, and then like her hand slides down, and you see a bit of bush, and then. The scene ends. The scene ends. <laughs> but like, it's the Sears catalog of porn. <laughs> as, as a teenager that hadn't seen porn at that point, you were just... <laughs> I'm so... I feel... I feel so desensitized. Like, I feel like our... Because I'm not sure if I'm a generation below you, mm. but we definitely grew up differently. Because you grew up when there was no internet, no access to any yeah, of those things. Yeah. The other day, I borrowed my, like, my little cousin's iPod. This, this guy is like 12 or 13 and it's I tried to search something on Google and all the top results were like weird porn <laughs> fetishes not even like normal like Hustler magazine where it's just all just naked blonde women or something maybe he sure. has he knows what he's he, into he, knows, yeah. maybe he likes sure feet vegan. he likes <laughs> yeah. Yeah. he likes so feet Japanese people and putting maple syrup on the tip of his dick <laughs> so like that will look good oh shit oh. <laughs> yeah, like I don't because you guys grew up with the whole like, like yeah. we did too some a little bit like you grew up with no internet with like the dare program in your schools telling you drugs are like terrible for yeah. you yeah. Uh, no dare one talked star. about like anything that was taboo now like kids 
anyone my age has seen the weirdest porn you could ever because, think of. Before you even, like, that's the thing, is like, before you're ready for it, though. That's the yeah, thing, you know yeah. what I mean? I, Two Girls, One Cup came out when I was, like, in elementary or middle school. Yeah, and see, everyone yeah, knew and about I was like, it. Yeah. Like, I, 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 I told you could him, not see it. I t- <laughs> exactly. I told him a couple, uh, I think it was, like, a month ago, this girl... Uh, she smoked meth in my car. Like, she actually pulled out a pookie and started smoking meth in my car. And the reaction that normal people would have to that is like, holy shit, don't smoke meth in my car. <laughs> but my reaction to it with, like, just everything that I've lived through was just like, hey, can you, like, roll down the window? <laughs> <laughs> you just, just roll down the window a little bit? Yeah, just don't blow it in my face directly. And the best part is that <laughs> she just said no. <laughs> <laughs> it's my car. And she just said no. No. <laughs> I will That's not. Awesome. <laughs> so yeah, got, with us, like, oh, to, to, to give you a, 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 a idea of where I'm at, I, I graduated high school in '99. Two girls, two, two girls, one cup came out. I was already in the army. <laughs> when when uh, when when you were born, I was three. <laughs> <laughs> or no, when you were when you graduated high school, I was three. Yeah, six, when you were six, born, seven, I was yeah. three. I'm not older than <laughs> I'm not some weird Benjamin Button. <laughs> <laughs> when I when I was born, you weren't even a glint in your yeah. <laughs> But, uh, oh man, when I was, when you graduated high school, that would have made, let's see, 90s, no, I guess they're older, mm-hmm. never mind, I don't know where I'm going with that, go <laughs> ahead, go ahead with, yeah, when I, with when your poop in, in the <laughs> army. When I was in 7th grade, I found my brother's uh, Girls Gone Wild DVD, uh, and I fucking started renting that out in, nice. in, in PE. Oh, gross. I was to rent it out for five bucks a week. I got that shit all scratched. I can't say it's all sticky. <laughs> when I was in junior high, because we, we, didn't, we didn't have access to the internet, the only the only kind of porn. Do you, have you ever seen those newspaper things, the L.A. Express? And it's just yeah, like, yeah, and, and there's like the theory. escorts. Yeah, that yeah. was our fucking porn at the time. It's like <laughs> black there, and white. There was one uh, on my way to school. There was one that someone had broke the side window on him. <laughs> but, the, but the guy that refilled the thing was just like. Alright, <laughs> <laughs> they don't pay me enough to care about this shit. <laughs> so, like, we would just walk by and just grab one out. I <laughs> love those magazines because it took me so long to figure out what, like, prostitution and, like, drugs were. <laughs> just because, like, I would, I would, I would pick those up and I would read through them mm-hmm. and it'd just be ads and ads for, like, Hey, if you give me money, I'll have sex with you. Yeah. Hey, if you give me money, I'll give you drugs. And yeah. I was like, this isn't real. Yeah, this is a fantasy land catalog. What I used to love about those newspapers too, though, was they actually had actual news stories in them. It was like I remember yeah, one of them articles. specifically because I got in trouble because I got caught with it in my backpack, and uh, uh, my my excuse was because luckily it was all folded up and I didn't have it open. But they happened to just be open to twelve gang members shot in whatever city and this and this. It was like a whole thing about gang violence. It was like I picked it up because I saw it on the street and I just saw the gang violence article and I wanted to read it. I didn't realize there was porn on the other side. <laughs> on just the other side, you were so close to porn and you didn't even know. <laughs> that was that was how I got out of being in trouble for having porn in my backpack. Oh man! Back to that video, real quick. I just remember this too. The, the other hot scene that I remember was that the dude goes to the, her house for dinner with the dot with this with the little sister, and she goes to take out the trash and he follows her to help. Uh-huh. She's carrying a trash bag. Why does she need help? First of all, but so he pins her against the kitchen. Up the lid. <laughs> he pins her against the kitchen window and starts banging her from behind while her family's in that in the kitchen, just hanging out, washing dishes and shit. But the whole scene is just from the waist up. They're fully clothed. It's just them thrusting against <laughs> each other <laughs> and the and the, and the sound. strippers <laughs> ass to stage sound. <laughs> and that was it. But to, I remember thinking how hot of a scene that was, and I'm watching it as, a, as an adult with all the shit that I've seen in my life now, and all the shit that I've done in my life now. I'm like, hmm. <laughs> all right then. I don't know. <laughs> Living, li- I've lived on my own for like a year now. I've been, and then I've been like out of high school for a while, so I've just been like living. And uh, I Almost feel like a year. It, yeah, <laughs> no, well, like a year and a year and some change, but. Uh, well, as soon as I turned 18, like, my mom's really cool, my mom's really little, so she she has this ideology where it's like, uh, you make your own decisions, you're an adult, but if you fuck up, those are your consequences. Yeah. So she didn't really, she just kind of let me run amok. Uh, but I feel like if I met myself in, like, if I met myself when I was a sophomore, if my sophomore self met me now, mm-hmm. they'd just be so ashamed. <laughs> 
<laughs> I used to think smoking was gross and like drinking is bad and I would never go to a strip club and degrade women. I threw sickles <laughs> on a bitch's ass and one of them got stuck in her butt. Like that was like your prunks moment. Yeah. <laughs> like I, 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 just, I did that shit and it slid and it got stuck and it didn't move. <laughs> and she had to move it with her hand and I was like, fuck yeah. It happened in slow motion you just kind of watch it. It's like, it's like with that perfect shot in basketball you just watch it and you know it's going to hit. I just, just knew it. Just like, Right there, right the crack. Me and my new best friend, we just high fived right then and there. <laughs> That's fucking awesome. Oh shit! Something that, that might have been worth mentioning is the reason we're at the strip club is because it's my friend's uh, birthday, my friend's twentieth birthday. So she decided she wanted to go out to a strip club, like a straight one, thankfully. Yeah. And uh, well, straight for us. <laughs> yeah. And uh, and and then go to like a hotel party afterwards, kind of deal. Nice. So we go there and. Like I said, I'm getting like a, that that lap dance, but uh, so if you thought I was somehow socially awkward to the point where I accidentally got myself into a lap dance, I tried to find a way out of it, <laughs> but I couldn't. So what ended up happening is that it turned into a partner lap dance where it was me and her, the birthday oh. girl, who don't really know each other that well, just going into the couch together and getting a partner lap dance. That's awesome. So I'm, I'm getting hit in the face with pussy, and I'm just looking at her, and she's like, are you liking this? And I'm just like, no. Not really. <laughs> Nobody's enjoying this. It's not bad. <laughs> The stripper's crying. The stripper, <laughs> the, stri- the stripper was like making conversation too. She was like, "Yeah, you know, sometimes girls get into it like a lot. Like I once had this one girl who was like trying to kiss me and grab my tits, and then like, and she goes and grab my tits, and she raises her hands to the girl like she's gonna grab her tits, like she's gonna grab my friend Wendy's tits, uh, and then she pauses, thinks so about Wendy. it." <laughs> she pa- she pauses, thinks about it, realizes, kind of makes his face like, no, I don't want to do that. Like that's inappropriate. Yeah. Grabs my tits oh. and then just goes and like runs it for a second. And I was just like, all right, no, none of this feels good yeah. at all to me. How am I going to pretend that you're attracted to me if you know that I have tits? <laughs> that's the thing about see, I, like I, I've been a couple strip clubs in my life. I'm not a fan of strip clubs because I don't like having to pay someone to pretend to be my friend. Yeah. That's always been my thing. But strip, but the thing I, I love about strippers is when they get comfortable with you, they start talking about how, like, it's like, like you know, you get your hair cut and your barber talks to you. Yeah. Say, so you're going to lap dance. Oh, how was your day? You know? It's just, <laughs> they yeah, I had a shit day today. A couple guys trying to grab my tits. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Stick some fingers on my butt. Like, it's like they just talk to you like, like you're not half naked dancing rubbing your ass in my face. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's pretty great. <laughs> And the, I think the best part is that there was two girls there. One of them is grinding her junk all over both of our junks, and the other one doesn't really want to be there. And now I don't really want to be there because I didn't want to dance in the first place. And I also just wanted my glasses, and I didn't want to dance with this girl either. <laughs> so this is all happening, and uh, everyone in the room knows that I have a boner. But nobody acknowledges that throughout the entire thing. Especially when she does the move where she's, like, moving her butt, like, right on your junk. Like, everyone knew at that moment, especially just because of the face that I was making. But everyone just decided to just not Not talk about it. Just be like, so happy birthday, Wendy. Are you having a good time? Uh, That's fucking awesome. But my first time in a strip club, I got... It was the whole socially awkward thing, too, where I was like... This chick comes up to me, you want to dance? Like, I, I oh. didn't want to be a dick and say no. <laughs> so you said yes? I was like, yeah. But the thing I, well, the thing was, is I had no more cash. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> and, I, and I tried to explain that to her. She was like, no, come on, I'll give you that. I don't have any more money. <laughs> so she's dragging, like, literally dragging me to the back by, by my wrist and started giving me a dance. And I'm like, all right, 40 bucks. I have no more money. <laughs> So my buddy had to leave. <laughs> Go to an ATM. <laughs> oh Come god! Back. Well, she just sat there, pissed off. Well, she just sat there, very angry. Just, yeah, she just sat there, not talking to us, sipping on a fucking water bottle. Just... So the thing that I, the, the thing that I get that you didn't is that uh, I was going with a big group of people, and one of my friends, Joel, he uh, before we went, he just kind of went, "Oh, dude." I'm the strip club master. And I guess he even has this different outfit, which was exactly the same as his outfit he was wearing at work, just with sweatpants added ah, instead. Oh, yeah, the sweatpants. Yeah, yeah. yeah. so he, he's yeah, telling yeah, me, cool. like, okay, you never say yes to the first stripper that comes up and asks you if you want to dance. 
And I was like, oh, why? And they're like, because they always send out the ones uh, that don't really want to do it, that aren't really into it, or something like that. And I was like, oh, okay. So I decided to follow his advice. The stripper comes up and is like super nice, smiley, giggly, flirting with both of us. And just goes you to my friend, like, do you want to dance? And he goes, oh, no, not right now. And she just looks at me and she's like, well, what about you, cutie? And I was just like, oh, no, I'm okay. And I've never seen a girl's, like, just emotion just switch off. Just not angry, not sad, nothing. nothing, Just absolutely emotionless. And she just goes, okay, and walks away. And then starts to back up again to the people right next to us. Yep. But yeah, he, he told me all these things. Like he told me, if you're gonna go to a strip club, look in their eyes. Don't look at their tits or their ass. Just look them in the eyes and smile, real sexy like. He's like, they like that. He described it kind of like how people describe petting zoos. Like, yeah, <laughs> pet the lamb real softly. They like that. And if the lamb comes up to you, throw dollar bills on it and spank its ass. <laughs> the lambs like that too. Oh man, that's spot on. That, yeah, that is a spot on fucking Twitter <coughs> strip club. Bless that you. Was awesome. Edit that out. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> so, real quick, before we start to wrap this shit up, shit, we've already gotten uh, thirty minutes early. Oh man, that's awesome. I should probably do my plug right now. Yeah. yeah. So, uh, we have. So, where, where, where can people find you? Uh, so, uh, I don't know if you guys heard websites: wiseguyscomedytour dot com or wgctour dot com. Wiseguyscomedytour dot com or wgctour.com. tour dot com. Uh, like I said, Armando's one of the comics. You can check him out. Actually, tonight he'll be performing in Claremont. Flappers, Claremont over there. And I don't Claremont. think they're uploading this tonight. No, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. It'll be up tonight. Oh, okay. Well, to the people that hear this, I'll be there at 9 p.m. So 9 you PM. have, at this moment, you have like, I don't three know, hours three hours, hours to prepare. <laughs> three hours so you can go three check out his up. set. Uh, actually, I'll be, I'll be telling the story about how I accidentally joined a gang in high school. Nice. So that's always fun. Uh, you guys should check that out. Um, our website, we're still in the progress, uh, our process of, of getting everything up. You can check out pretty much just our basic information. Gives you a little bit about the about the tour. Pretty much what we're looking to do is we're from here looking to shoot to Arizona, then go to uh, Nevada, New Mexico, and Colorado. Originally, Utah was on there, but it turns out fucking those bastard Mormons have one comedy place in the whole fucking state named Wise Guys Comedy Club. Nice. And, and they, it's like one out of two. <laughs> <laughs> it's like one out of two comedy clubs in the whole state of Utah. You know, there's oh, three of them. They're all Wise Guys Comedy. And oh, that's my God. It. And that is... that. You look up anything fucking open mic, comedy related, or oh, improv, it's just Wise Guys Comedy Club. Nice. And that is nice. it. So that got taken off of the uh, the agenda, but uh, yeah. So we look at starting uh, to hit the road. Probably, hopefully, the latest the end of next month. Got another comic right now, Miguel. Be checking out tonight. He'll be over there at Flappers too. Nice, very nice. Uh, and then still looking at pretty much in the scouting process still. So if you you guys have any, so there's any, any promising, comments? yeah, promising young comedians looking to take their talents to, to the uh, to the road. Um, check out the style. Our contact information is on there. Unless you're funnier than me, then don't do that because I want to be the funniest. There you go. Just there kidding. You, you can do it too. <laughs> I can share. I'm not that conceited. I'm the Kanye of comedy. Kanye of comedy. All right. And, uh, so you gonna... don't have the answers. The real <laughs> press start. You don't know. You don't know. Eve ate the apple, and ever <laughs> since then, I've been telling jokes. <laughs> oh shit! On that note, no more questions. Game over. So what are we talking about?